These are my top three favorite gold chain designs. Just personally speaking, let me know what yours are in the comment section below. But in third place has to be the Figaro. This is such a classic piece. I highly doubt this is ever going to be an outdated chain, right? In the year 2090, you're not going to hear somebody go, ew, Figaro's, that's so 2024. Like it's not supposed to be trendy. It's a staple, it's a classic, and it's here to stay. And it's also very comfortable around the neck. It's light in gram weight, so it's more on the affordable side. So that's why you see it as a lot of people's very first gold chain. In second place, my second favorite, oh, it has to be the Miami Cuban Link. This is the catalyst for me, y'all. This is the reason I got into gold chains because this style was just so appealing and so sexy to me. And what's very interesting is from my personal experience, I've gotten the most compliments on this chain whenever I would wear it with like a white t-shirt and it would be tucked in. Okay, now stay with me now because all you'd be able to see is the side neck profile or if I, my hair is up, right? You would just see like the, the back of my neck with this chain peeking out. And I call this like my wing woman chain because it's always women in particular that want to compliment it and then they get really touchy with it, right? They're like, ooh, like that's so nice. Like, ooh, it's so sleek, it's so smooth. They're always feeling on it. And then they'll pull out the chain and they'll see the pendant attached to it. And they'll, you know, it's just like a good conversation starter. And like this, yeah, she's, this girl right here, she always, always gets me right. Always gets me right. Another thing is it hugs you around the neck as well. I think that's the appeal of it too, is that it's just, it lays flush against your skin. Um, the downside is that Miami Cuban links have a tendency to kink, but that also has to do with the quality of how they're made because my Cuban link has only ever kinked probably twice. And that's never been when I was actually wearing it. It was when it was probably just like stashed somewhere. And then I went to pull it out and there was a little kink, but whenever I would just hold the end clasp like this and it would just fall straight, the kink completely disappeared. So that's just the downside with Cuban links. But in first place, my favorite chain style has gotta be the one you see around my neck. This one is known as the Hermes link and it, I would say it's my top spot because of uniqueness purposes. Never have I seen somebody wearing a yellow gold or mes link in person. If I ever see them, it's always the silver versions and the, the links are always very, very spaced out. And for me personally, I really like it when the links are tight. Um, and I prefer, I like wearing heavier chains, but another reason I love this is Yes, the uniqueness, it's very comfortable to wear and I can get active with it. Like it does not matter what I'm doing. I never have to worry about the Hermes link being, you know, something that, oh, is it gonna snap? Is it gonna break? It's a very durable piece. And if you can kind of see, this catches light really nicely because of the mirror-like finish and the polishes of the flat surfaces on these links, the light just travels up and down on these chains. Like playing beach volleyball in this, is it just, it always looks good. Everything about it, I really love. And it doesn't snag hair. That's a big thing. That is a major thing. That's the reason the rope chain is not on this list because it's pretty, but she snags hair.